Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with the 10.69.25 um, update. I just got it and happened to be going out to get a haircut tonight. So perfect timing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do our first drive of this here. I think it's already been out for a few people. So it seems like we are no longer on the first track for the updates anymore. Um, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what version 11, how that works. Um, but we're going to see if there's any differences. Uh, it seems like it's just mostly the holiday update. They're combining, combining the branches. And basically we're going to uh, probably not see really any any improvements though that being said uh, I think it was like 10.69.1 I think uh, was the last time I did did this route uh, which was the best it's ever been so we're gonna see if anything has changed on this one um, so far the visuals I little things like this like the visuals are updated like you can see this is much like the lines and everything are clearer uh, I don't know if that's because the car has seen it better or if that's for other reasons. I'm gonna turn on the blinker. There we go. See how it does going up here. So it seems a little bit more hesitant. Definitely more hesitant. Um, now it could be because it's at night, not during the day. Let's see. My truck coming. Okay, so better merge. It seems like maybe no, that, that's probably a coincidence. But what, what they really should have done it's a little bit late now that version 11 is so close. They really should have, um, uh, I'm trying to say it, it should have um, kept. Um, FSD enabled until it's on the highway then changed over to navigate on autopilot. You, you shouldn't change over when you're on the on-ramp. It should only change over once you're fully on the highway. Then it should change over. They should have done that a while back and that would have fixed a lot of the merge is issues I see. Probably gonna try and it wants gonna want to change lanes. However, it doesn't get over quick enough. Actually, we see. Oh, there we go. That's good. So it doesn't accelerate quick enough. So I'm gonna accelerate it. And I want to get back over. Yeah, of course. That that happens far too often. Uh, these are the things I'm looking for for version 11 to assist with or improve rather. I'm really hoping that happens. Yeah, see how it transitions here. I still think it comes off the highway just a little bit too fast and quite frankly not smooth enough. But I think that has to do with changing between navigating autopilot and full self driving. It's, uh, I think that should be improved with version 11, I would have to think. Coming to a stop here has always been smooth the last several versions, so this is really good. Good turn right here. So it's seeing those lights up ahead, That's that seems to be new. I don't remember the visualization showing lights that early. That being said, I think they're starting to factor in uh, longer distance lights now, which is good. Um, I really, really, really hope uh, the next several versions sometime next year, or even version 11 maybe if it happens this year still, will improve uh, basically long distance lights uh, if you're going at like 55 mile an hour towards the light It needs to be able to s detect it far enough away to have a smooth slowdown 
Okay, I don't know why it decided to change lanes back into the left lane here. That seems to be new with this version, or at least maybe the last two versions. I never got to test the last version on this. Okay, so again, glad the blinker is staying on for these type of turns. And let's see how it does if it goes smooth for here. That's good. Very confident turn. Excellent. Again, right here, the speed limit changes. This is something I'm really looking for. It goes from 45 to 35, but it, like, look how slowly it's going down in speed. It used to be a lot quicker than that. Okay, it's, it's slow in this if that car is in my lane for some reason. And do we have oncoming cars? Yeah, I guess we do. I need to just go ahead and commit if it's going to turn. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator. It's, um, it's very hesitant there. It might have been due, there was a car crossing behind, or beside of me to my right, and that might have been what was causing the hesitancy. It probably also couldn't tell if the cars in front were, were, um, were, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, were coming towards us. Yeah, so what, what was that? Zero disengagement? Definitely had a lot of in interventions, but, um, a lot of, uh, but no disengagements. So we're gonna do this route coming back. And all with one video, and we'll see how it does. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, everyone. We are headed back home. So, as I said, this is going to be all one video here. So, let's go ahead and enable it. Whoa. What? Okay, well, we're not going to count that. I'm not sure what, what went on there. Um... I got a haircut and I forgot the got a piece of hair in my mouth. Let's see, so this right here notoriously is a this is a little bit narrow of a road. I did that well. Um, previous versions, my really old versions, we get too close to that sidewalk. And I would have to disengage. Let's see how it does here. This is a um, right turn. Um, with usually oncoming traffic, and there is not a bit tonight. Like, yeah, <laughs> we really could have asked for a better turn right there. No traffic at all, so it, it was pretty confident on that turn. What? What? What the heck is? Okay, so that <laughs> that is not good. Wow. Um. That was the same thing that happened at the beginning of the drive, so that, there is something that, wow. Um, we still have the camera, of course they moved it all the way over to the right. I don't know if they did that for placebo and it's not actually being used anymore, or if they did it for design reasons. It really should be right here still. Um, but, yeah, um, you saw the screen, it, it swerved out in the parking lot. The, enough, not at all what was showing on the map. So I'm not sure why that was doing that. Definitely a reminder, you always have to be paying attention, that's for sure. So it's doing this weird, like... It's like Phantom Breaking's back, everyone. This That's really... The drive here was good. The drive back is... There's something wrong. There's something not... Not doing... Something isn't doing right. You can, be, like, you can feel this like pulsing. And it should already be slowing down for this light. These, this is the type of thing, like, it needs to be slowing down already. Like, way before. Like, it was slowing down, then stopped slowing down, now it's slowing down again. Like, it needed to just start slowing down way further back, in my opinion. 
Okay, so we have a scenario. Okay, so it's not going to have that. Let's say we have a scenario where there's a car behind, two cars behind me, one on each side of the road, and it was slowly catching up to me, and so I needed to go ahead and get over so it was not going to uh, cause any conflicts. This is new with this version. That's really nice. I really like that. Shows that you could be in the, uh, there's two turn lanes. Oh, it break too hard right there. Well, it break for no reason actually. This is again, it, it's not getting in the turn lane. This this is the previous version of this. It like, it's because it's because of this map data. That's what ha that happened the last version or last uh, two versions ago when I did this. It um, it thinks the the lane I was in was the turn lane until it gets up to here, and it's like oh. I'm not in the turn lane, and corrects itself, basically. I handled that well with that truck right here. It really should go ahead and pass this truck. Curious what it's gonna do. Okay, let's see how it does right here. Uh, normally it cuts through the intersection, so I can't tell that there's a, um, a green light right here. So I pressed the accelerator just a little bit, and, um, and so it waited so I could see the light. That is new behavior, and I'm not sure why I was waiting so long to get over, but that's actually, I can't, <laughs> I want to call that an improvement. However, it waited a little bit too long. It's interesting, interesting um, logic with this uh, semi truck right here. It's like it, it waits to see the light before it goes, which is really good. A good merge onto the highway. gonna go ahead and get over it anyway because I want to speed up to 65 How we do with an unprotected left? There are no cars around from any direction. Seems to be a little bit more confident coming through this turn. S slow, but um, but smooth. That's that's more important than the slow portion. Okay. Well, um, besides that few glitches at the beginning. I'm not sure what was going on there. Just, uh, definitely a bug. Definitely a bug on that one. But um, otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I don't think I'm going to be doing any videos um, on my other route this weekend. Too busy with the uh, holidays and everything. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I hope everyone has a uh, fantastic holiday. Um, and if I don't see you until then, um, I hope you have a, have a new year as well. See you guys later. Bye.